Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, I'm continuing on with um, all stuff about the battery monitor which I've now got installed on my iPad um, after a bit of issues. You've just got to accept all of the things it tells you that you need like location and Bluetooth and if you turn none of them on or try and be clever with the security it does not see the device. Um, the other slight issue is I mean it's limited to 10 meters so it doesn't quite reach into the house, especially when you have to reverse in your car to, to park and, and that. So um, you have to be close to the car. Um, but the monitor does store data inside it until you connect to it, just like I'll show you now. So if I turn Bluetooth on, you'll see it syncing. Um, but before that, I'll show you the graph. Um, you can look back over dates of what the battery was doing. How it, if, if the 12 volt was being charged and, and and that gives me clues as to what also on the car can make the 12 volt battery charge because I've made a discovery I didn't know about anyway um, there's today's graph the um, in the middle of the night was the uh, the off-peak octopus charging so that's definitely charging the 12 volt battery and and then up till seven, eight o'clock, and that's when I turned the car on and went driving. So um, it slightly drops off over the night, uh, but not much. But if I turn Bluetooth on now, basically connecting, connected, synchronizing data, and it dumps um, all of the data it's got inside the unit. Um, Currently, 14 volts is always when you've got the car on, so that's charging voltage. And if I was to turn the car off, you'll see that drop down to the normal 12, 13 volts, um, and it'll tell you the percentage um, state of charge. Now, strangely, it says 91%, but who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, if you press on the graph, then you can look back um, through what's happened today and you notice from before it's actually synchronized the data um, from the day but what I want to show you is a simple method of charging the 12 volt without turning the car on or even go put it in utility mode or anything you can do this from the outside and this method is this <coughs> I'll open the charge flap. Simply plug the vehicle to the load adapter in. Don't even have to re-energize it. It connects. And that turns on the the, um, the inverter in the back. Notice it's going up now and charging. That's simple. So you can do that without even unlocking the car. Just open the charge flap, put it in, leave it on for an hour, and your battery will be topped up. The reason this works is the big old inverter under the back seat called the ICCU. It's called, it stands for Integrated Charging Control Unit. It handles the output from uh, the main traction battery, which comes out of vehicle to load. And it also handles the other charging functions, including the 12 volt battery. So when this gets activated, it charges the 12 volt battery in any instance. It also handles AC charging at 220, 240 volts and also 400 volts DC charging and also 800 volts ultra high speed charging so it's very important right um, to prove that the vehicle to load uh, will charge the 12 volt battery I'm going to do an, uh, I'm going to flatten it a bit with some um, Kia Connect status requests um, so we'll look at we'll look at the before and um, we're connecting now and we're 
according to this, 77%, which is strange because it was 92 before. I've double checked that the connection type, uh, battery type, is, is the right one. It doesn't have um, it doesn't have AGM battery on the side. It says 12 volt. So I think mean, this uh, maybe this calculation for percentage state of charge is not correct. Um, but I'll, I'll go ahead anyway, and I'll do some um, status checks and. Um, then I'll come back to it after an hour with the VTL vehicle to load adapter plugged in. Okay, we're at 68, so I'm going to plug the VTL in now. Right, just plug it in and then come back in an hour. Right, we're back after an hour of the vehicle to load adapter just being plugged into the uh, charge port but not switched on. Um, and now I'm going to bring up the monitor. We're at 77% before. And now we're at 97%. So that I think that has proved just leaving the vehicle to load adapter plugged in, not even switched on charges the 12 volt battery so it's worthwhile and there's the graph to prove it you can see the peak when I turned it on at 10 and then when I plug, unplugged it at 11 so I think that's a useful, useful thing to do and hopefully it'll also work on the Nero EV um, so with that thanks for watching